Good morning everybody. It's a bit of a rainy, drizzly day today, but uh, it's the 2nd of May 2018 and we're off to Plaza focusing leads. We're going to check out some of the latest sound and lighting technology that uh, all the suppliers have to offer, offer us. We're really looking forward to it. decided to make an appearance here this afternoon but I've uh, just got back from Plaza focusing leads there's been an amazing amount of gear to look at um, there's something there for everybody but for me these are a few of the highlights enjoy it So this is the, um, the RCF HDL 6A uh, lightweight, small format line array system with two six and a half inch drivers and a one inch compression driver. Um, it's an active system uh, with a 1400 watt power module producing 131 dB per module. This here is sitting on the, the pole mount uh, fitting so you can stand it on top of the sub. Uh, Obviously you can see you've got all your different mounting positions and uh, it's very light, it's also available in white uh, for £1,100 per module and it's available for full volume. Thank you. We'll just uh, go down and have a look at the base bin while we're here. This is the 6,004, uh, you can't run it with 8,003. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Chris Fern from RCF. I'm with uh, Full Volume and Class of Focus uh, Leeds 2018. This is the uh, Evox JMX 8, uh, which is the, the new addition to the Evox family. Uh, there's also a version of this without the digital mix called an Evox J8. Um, both of them are made from plastic. They have the same 12 inch driver that's in the original Evox 8 uh, in the subwoofer, and they also have the same 2 inch uh, or 8 2 inch drivers in the column. Uh, and the same power module. So producing 128 dB, same as the original uh, Evox 8. This one has an 8 channel digital mixer uh, with Bluetooth playback and also Bluetooth connectivity for uh, an app for your iPhone or your Android device. Uh, and you can also see that the, the column here fits into the back of uh, this for easy portability. Uh, it's available now and available for full volume. Yeah, and we've got it installed. Hi guys, up here from Electric Voice, uh, here with Chris at Full Volume, having a look at the Evolve 50 system from Electric Voice. So basically this system is comprising of three parts. You've got the top element, the pole, the connecting pole. This houses the actual connectors uh, in the, uh, between the top and the sub. And then obviously the, the subwoofer itself. Uh, so this is a 12 inch sub, uh, it's a thousand watt past the amplifier. So you've got, uh, you've got two XLR combi jack inputs, uh, RCA input, mini jack, and actually you've got Bluetooth as well. Um, so the Bluetooth is actually control as well as um, audio streaming. So actually you can actually control up to six of these, all from your phone or from a tablet. Um, so a pretty cool product. Um, get into full volume, have a listen, take it out on a gig, and uh, see what you think. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate. Holly from the Adam Hall Group. Uh, we're at the Leeds Focus Plaza, and I'm going to show you the new Maui P900 Porsche designed column system, which is this one right behind us. So if you want to have a quick scan up and down that Chris, you'll see, to start with, it's a grey one, which is different to anything else on the market. It's fabric covered, rather than having a steel grill, because this allows for the sound to come through quite clearly. The whole product is made from one block of aluminium. Uh, it's nice if I show you this on, on, a, on a picture, so you can actually see what I'm referring to on this, if you can zoom into that. So here's a graphic. So if you can imagine one block of aluminium, that's then laser cut out to create this shape, which is the shape we're looking at. So it's a very sturdy product, because it is made from one piece. Then it's bored out, so we can put the audio uh, parts into it. It stands at about 2.2 meters. So I'm six foot tall. This is about 2.2 meters. It's got 50 drivers in it, all together. Uh, and now that's comprised is, again, I'll show you the pictures. 
makes it a little bit easier. So we've got two 10 inches in the bottom, which is in this part, just like that. And then we've got two columns, and in each column you've got eight 2.8 um, millimeter drivers, and then you've got one inch drivers, sorry, 2.8 inch drivers and one inch drivers with a wave ahead guide placed on top, which kind of looks like this when it's in place. So you've got a pure sound coming at you from every angle. It's a 140 degree angle on dispersion, and 10 degree this way, and it's 1,400 watts RMS, 131 dB, and it's really aimed at the luxury market, you could say uh, hotel lobbies, DJs that want something that doesn't really look like a normal box system. Uh, and it's going to be readily available in July. It's on the market at £3,599, including back. Let's zoom around the back. Or can I get it on here? Let's have a quick look. It might be better looking at the catalogue. I'll get a quick look around this. I can show you a picture of me as well then. I can, I can put it yeah. up. So just, just to show you how the back looks, you've had a quick look with the camera, but to be a bit more clearer, you've got a main volume and a sub-volume, you've got line-ins and a line-out to link to a second system, and then you've got a stereo Bluetooth input, which is an APTX Bluetooth. It's the best one on the market. You can't get any better than that. Um, and it's very, very minimal controls because you'd be linking up to a mixing desk. Uh, and there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali. No problem. And just to show you one last thing, it's available in three different colours. You've got cocoon white, premium grey, platinum grey, sorry, and graphite black. And that's the uh, graphite grey. Uh, mid one. Yeah. Cheers, me dears. at the Leeds Focus Plaza uh, on the Adam Hall stand. We're going to have a quick look at the Maui 5 Go, which is our brand new battery powered column speaker system. Uh, this is the black one, it's also available in white. So you've got four components. The bottom part is the base, it's got an 8 inch driver in the base. This one is actually the battery, so it's the first unit on the market where the battery is outside the base unit. The middle one is just a spacer, so there's nothing in that. And the top one is where we keep the speakers. And in there you've got four three-inch drivers with one-inch voice coils over the top. You can do this if it's going to be going on a stage, so you don't need the height. Um, but ideally, if you're, if you're busking or playing outside somewhere, and you have all three columns, it's going to reach a lot further, much further than most of the box-type um, battery-powered systems. The battery itself is an LG high capacity lithium, lithium battery. Um, because we use a good component there, it can last up to 30 hours on one charge. To charge it, it's two hours to get it to 80% and three hours to get it to 100%. Normally people won't let it go entirely flat, so it's probably going to take a couple of hours really to get it to 100. It's 200 watts RMS and 128 dB. And then on the back, if you want a quick look down the back there, uh, first of all you'll see on this section there, there's the battery indicator, which is just here, so if I press that, it's telling me how much battery life's in there at the moment. You can plug this in and run it, you don't have to have it on battery, and if you do plug it in and run it, it will trickle charge the battery at the same time as you're playing it as well, so you'll be charging the battery up. So what we've got on the back here, we've got a sub-level, a high boost level, we've got a main volume and then we've got a mini jack where you can plug in an mp3 or you can link it to a bluetooth uh, by holding the button down it's only either or of these two, you can't have both running and that's your volume for that channel then you've got an eye impedance um, guitar input which is this volume pot. and then you've got a combi socket with a jack and an XLR if you're using the line input it will be this one if you're using the XLR it'll be this one and then on this little indicator there it's just telling you that it's on it'll tell you when there's a signal playing and if you're pushing it a little bit too hard the limiter will kick in and it'll start telling you that it's, it's just been limiting 
then you've also got a mono and stereo so if you link in from the link out which is on the back into a second system click it over to stereo and you get a true stereo sound now if you were going to use a mixing desk with this rather than that section you could plug in to the line input on the back there left and right and link it to a stereo and you'd get a stereo sound going in there um, it's on the market the retail price is uh, six, sorry seven two seven including VAT uh, it's readily available and it sounds great <laughs> cheers thank you once again Ollie cheers, cheers.